Hello my loves, it's me, Saifa. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe down below and also hit the button, the ring me button and also press all. So you are notified of all my videos that I post here on this channel. This channel is a both is a Swahili and English channel. So we speak both languages here. Kwa hiyo kwa wale walikuwa wanaongea Kiswahili karibuni. Asante sana kwa kurudi kwenye video yangu. Msisahau ku subscribe na ku ring the bell button kengele pale below. Hapo bonjenzeni the word all. Kwa hiyo muambie kila ninapopost kila ninapopost videos. Why am I so out of breath? Anyways, let me try to talk. My face is already done because today we are going to be talking about one special trick that I have that makes blending so much easier than it used to be and actually looks come out so much better, you know? It's just a small little trick. If you just know it, your looks are going to be transformed. And what I'm wearing on my face actually will be listed below. Can you guys see the highlight? What? I've had this highlight for quite a few weeks and I didn't try it. I keep forgetting to try it. Ah! This is uh, the Master Chrome Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlight by Maybelline. Amazing and I have the shade Molten Rose, I think. They put stickers everywhere so I can't even see, but I think this is Molten Rose or Rose. You guys, you guys, you guys. I'm like glowing. My foundation is also glowing. So I'm just glow, glow, glow. So let's see what we can do with this eye. We're going to do a quick, easy smoky eye, not a full smoky eye, but uh, how to smoke up your eye, look, eye looks for whenever you want something more sophisticated looking or something like that. I'm gonna sh show you how I do it and uh, let's get started. Hello guys, we are up here now, close and personal, I hope. I want you guys. Woo! You can see me from outer space. I want you guys to be able to see my face and my eyes properly. My eyes are primed. My face is done, as you guys can see. We're going to be using just a few brushes. I'm going to show you. You don't need that many brushes, okay, to do your looks. We're going to use um, this brush right here. This is the Morphe M433. It's like a small uh, blender brush, but it's but it's thin and it's not that fluffy so you can kind of pack in products and also blend at the same time with this one very good and we're going to be using um, M441 to blend everything out I think those are the only two brushes we're going to be using right now no plus a small one for basically the sh uh, shimmer shadows but I wanted to show you guys this other brush from Morphe it's the M506 tiny tiny blending brush very good for people with tiny eyes also very good for people with hooded eyes so this is another option if you don't want to use this one and you have smaller eyes okay if you don't want to use the m433 anyways let's get started with this little trick okay don't worry it's not gonna be like a big thing anyone can do this okay so i'm going to be using this palette right here from norvina this is the vienna volume one Anastasia Beverly Hills, not to Novena, ABH. Anastasia Beverly Hills. If I try to say that quickly, Anastasia, Be Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia Beverly. Anastasia, <laughs> I can't do it. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna start with this eye. Mmm, Saifa, you didn't blend. You didn't blend your concealer right here. Okay. Okay. That's what you get for doing makeup in the dark and uh, very fast basically this trick is for people who see um it's for people who see like a smoky eye that goes all the way to the top i'm going to show a picture right here an example of how to do it and so many people think that they are placing that first color you see they see that they are placing it up here okay and that's how they get the shadow to go up but that is far from the truth no one is placing the shadow up here if you place the shadow up here and you blend the shadow will go all the way under your eyebrows you don't want that well the first thing you do is grab your color whatever color you want to grab today I will grab a purple you know this these shadows right here are not the easiest ones to blend so 
let's see how this goes i'm going to be placing taking the purple color right here now when i want to make i want the color to come all the way up here and be smoky as well but i'm not going to start placing it here i'm actually going to start placing it right in my crease mm. as you guys can see right in the crease and then after i place it right there i'm going to start blending now you will see that this color moves from where my crease is and goes all the way up here just by blending not by actually pressing the product up here because if i press the product up here it's gonna go to my eyebrows so just keep on blending and make sure you don't come all the way to here because it will come to the sides of your nose and trust me i know that does not look good no these colors are so pigmented that i don't feel like i need to go back in and dip in lakini if you're planning on adding more color and you're using a color that wasn't as pigmented as this one you can go back in add some product place it exactly where you added the first color exactly there and then keep on blending and then it will go further up just keep adding whatever you want to add that way do not go high up so now i'm taking just a clean clean brush and i'm just going to continue blending so that this color goes and smokes up the top top apart now as you can see i'm not adding any more product i'm just blending and the product is going up and it looks so blended in real life the camera sometimes tricks me i think everything's blended by looking at it and i'm like Something that I've noticed is that the crease harper is the easiest pl place to not look blended. Okay? And when you take the product and you put it up, this crease most of the time does not look blended. And I was like, what the hell is happening? Why is it not working? You know? Kumba, that's a problem. You have to put the product in here properly. So you guys, I didn't know whether I should speak about the coronavirus here. For all the Tanzanians, to share scare kama coronavirus in Ekuja, Tanzania, Hamna cases nyingi sasa hivi at least zile kwa zimetangazwa. Kwa hiyo mwe tahadhari na nataka kusema yani msiogope, msi panic, mka, mkafanya mambo ya zidi kwa mabaya, lakini pia mwe tahadhari. Sio kama hamja panic ndio maana yake mme just let go, alafu nadhani everything is going to be okay. Yes, inshallah everything is going to be okay, but you guys should take precautions. Washeni mko na yenu vizuri. Msishike mi, msishike msishike shike vitu alafu mkashika uso wenu kwa pua mdomo masikio anything ile kwa i don't think masikio but pua mdomo na, mas, na macho macho uh, ndio inaweza kuingiza okay unashika macho yako kama una virus on your hands ndio unaweza kusambaza okay take care msitoke toke nje ovyo kama you have nothing to do outside try your best to just stay home unless you have to go out save it because schools are closed be calm so many people have gotten infected and so many people have survived very few people the death rate is actually just two percent so very few people are actually dying from it try to keep yourself clean so that you don't affect people who might actually you know suffer from it more than someone who is young and healthy you know so just do that okay now from what i can see everything looks blended and you see that it came up I did not put it up. I just blended it to go up. Okay? Up, up. Yeah. Now we're going to do something else because people also are finding it troublesome to put black in their eyes. And by people, I mean me. I hate black. But today we're going for the smoky eyes so it has to be black. Okay? It doesn't have to be black. But I'm going to take the same uh, black shadow from the same palette called D45. It's so pigmented and so powdery so I'm just tapping it off so that i don't have so much in my brush i'm using oh sorry i forgot you guys i forgot i changed the brush you can use the same brush okay this will work this will work oh i forgot okay so i'm just going to be placing the color right be below my crease this is like what what is this called the outer v yeah yes it's called the outer v so I'm just going to be placing the color right here, okay? 
and the same thing I'm placing right also in my crease okay now I'm going to be blending with this brush that has a bit of the purple because it's quite smaller and I don't want the purple to go all the way high up so I'm just going to be blending the crease area until we get the purple the black to come up basically the moral of the story is don't place any shadow on top of your crease See, it went up all by itself. It's magic. Wow. It's blending so beautifully. Yes. Yes. Do you want it, do we want it to go higher? Um we do, but we're just gonna keep blending. We're not gonna add anything. ASMR style. Do you guys want me to do an ASMR video? I'll just laugh. I'll laugh the whole video. Done. Let me do the other eye and then I'll be right back. Hello, there we go. I did the other eye. Of course, I didn't finish at that look. What? Let me fix it. Let me try to fix it. I'll be right back. Hello, my loves. This video, you guys, it went a whole different direction, okay? What I was planning to do is not what I've done. When the eyeliner hit my top part of my eye here, I had to blend black all, all the way to the front. So I feel like I look like raccoon eyes. Lakini, if you guys have been watching this video, you have seen the progress of how things went to hell with me. This video, I'm just gonna post it, you know what? You guys gotta see the bad days. <laughs> so, you guys can see how the process went downhill the message i wanted to bring to you guys is that you don't have to place your product up there just place it down in the crease and then it will blend upwards i am kind of exhausted i've had to do a lot of work to try and fix the mistakes i did i love you guys so much please stay safe in tanzania uh, be careful now uh, stay clean stay hygienic try to avoid the public try to stay far away from a person as possible especially a stranger who you don't know like where they've been or what they've been doing or what they've been touching stay away from those people and carry around a sanitizer 70 percent alcohol plus that'll be great to kill any stuff on your hands before you touch your face or touch anything near your body i don't know how that's necessary you can touch your body just not your face see you guys in another video bye